guys, I hope you're all having a very good day. My name is Lilia and I'm so glad that you tuned in for this video. In this video, I'm going to give you an updated spring fashion guide. It's me showing five of my favorite trends but also five of my favorite basic pieces for the spring season as well. If you are excited for this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because that would mean so much to me. You would definitely make my day. And it would also help you out if you want to stay up to date with all the new videos that I release. And let's get into it. So my number one favorite trend for spring is the translucent or see-through trend. And I think this sweater is the perfect example of something that is a little bit see-through but not too much. It has these super pretty sleeves with see-through and floral detailing. I'll link this item as well as any of the other items that I mentioned uh, in the description box and also with the blog post that goes with this video. I'm wearing this super beautiful sweater from French Connection. Then my skirt is from H&M. It's this plaid or check uh, skirt, wrap skirt. Uh, or kind of, I don't know how you call this. Is this a wrap skirt? Maybe? I don't know, from H&M. Um, my shoes are from New Look, very simple sandals. Um, I think they always elongate your legs a lot. And then my bag is from Alexander Wang. I feel like this is a very cute outfit if you have like a coffee date or something like that. Not that I have any, but uh, yeah. Still very really cute. So the other alternative that I have for the see-through trend also from French Connection. It's this pussy bow blouse with very interesting uh, detailing on the sleeve. Even though it's gonna be trendy this spring, I can wear it next spring as well. So this outfit is a little bit more feminine than my other outfits, but I do think it's still very me. and it's still very wearable too. So this is the white pussy bow blouse from French connection I was talking about. Then I paired it with these mom jeans from um, Remy Melville. Also my beautiful uh, light pink, blush pink bag from Alexander Wang. And then um, my uh, sandals from New Look. So the next trend I'm going to be talking about is the wrap or the wrap blouse trend in particular. Previous summer, the floral wrap dresses have been such a big trend, but this year you also still see the wrap silhouette, but then in blouses and this is actually a bodysuit. Now, I feel like everyone has seen me wear this uh, wrap bodysuit uh, from Zara. I just think it's super flattering. Um, that's why I also got it in black. Then my jeans are from um, Brandy Melville. My shoes are these very simple uh, new look sandals and my Alexander Wang uh, mini Rocky bag. I love it even so much that I also got it in, in black. You can wear them for work, for school, for uni, whatever. Again, they're trendy, but they're also classic at the same time. Um, and I just love them. <laughs> Um, I'm wearing the black version of uh, the wrap blouse or bodysuit from Zara together with these high-waisted jeans from Monkey that I also think are super flattering. And then I'm wearing them with my new love, which are these super cute uh, Pipto booties, uh, Pipto sock boots. I think they really elongate your leg and I just love the look of boots with Pipto. I know some people find it weird, but I just think it looks so cute. And last but not least, I added my Alexander Wang uh, Rocky bag. So yeah, that's today's outfit. And excuse the, excuse the sunlight, I'm filming this with natural lighting and it's kind of changing. The next trend for spring is groundbreaking because it's floral. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Again, it's a blouse or actually a bodysuit from Zara. It looks like it has a wrap silhouette, but it's not the same as the other ones because this one doesn't have shoulder padding and also it has more of a deeper cut, like it's super deep. Um, I just pin it here because I don't like that area to be that exposed. I also think the floral print is quite unique. It looks more artistic. And I love this kind of uh, pinkish nude shade. So this is the floral bodysuit that I just showed you uh, from Zara. I think it looks very expensive, even though it wasn't that expensive at all, and it's just Zara. Then I paired it with this Alexander Wang mini Emile bag. I think the colors just look perfect together. And my mom jeans from Monkey, love them. 
Last but not least, I wore some nude booties from H&M. Uh, these are just so versatile and they are perfect if you don't want to wear like a black shoe because I sometimes feel like black shoes are a little bit too harsh. The next trend that I think you have to have in your wardrobe are checked skirts or plaid skirts. I never know if it's plaid or check. Let me know in the comments down below what you say. And I feel like this skirt is very flattering and it makes your butt look pretty good. Um, I don't know if that's a weird thing to say, but yeah, I just think this is a skirt that's kind of classy, but also sexy at the same time. I'm so. wearing my leather jacket from Zara, which is one of my staple pieces, and I always feel so good if I wear a leather jacket. The t-shirt that I'm wearing underneath is the T by Alexander Wine t-shirt. Then I'm wearing um, the skirt from H&M, which makes my butt <laughs> look pretty good. We girls have to stick together, and if you want to get a skirt that makes your butt look good, this is the skirt you should go for. Um, anyway, <laughs> then my bag is from Alexander Wang, and then my shoes are very simple sandals from New Look. I think it's a, it's a very nice look. I really like it. And the last, but definitely not least, trend is the suit trend. What I like about this suit is that it has high-waisted pants and I also think that this check or plate, whatever you call it, again, it's very trendy, but I also think it's very spring appropriate because it has less black in it and it has this kind of nude and peachy shade through it. So I definitely feel suited up, no pun intended, um, in this outfit. This whole suit is from H&M and I'm so sorry for this very severe sunlight. I also added my white tee from Alexander Wang and then my Gucci bag and these new look sandals. Um, it's a little bit more dressed up, so definitely, you know, appropriate for business attire, but it's still kind of a casual suit and that's why I like it. Um, that's why I also paired it with a white tee and not with a blouse, for example. So those were all of my trend pieces and now it's time for my basic items you have to have in your spring capsule wardrobe each and every spring around because you're going to rewear and rewear them again. I cannot start this basic pieces section of this spring fashion guide without talking about my all-time favorite basic, which is a white tee. If you guys watched my previous fashion guides, I've mentioned white tees multiple times. Most of my white tees were always from Zara, and I still think white tees from Zara are definitely <laughs> worth the money. However, I started noticing that I had to buy a new tee almost every season. And I mean, we're only talking about like five to ten dollars or euros, which is not a lot, but it kind of annoyed me because you know, when you find that perfect fit, when you find that perfect white tee and you have to rebuy it again and find it again, it's kind of annoying because sometimes you just want that one perfect white tee with the perfect fit and you don't want it to be ruined by wearing it so much. So that's why I thought, why not invest in a basic? And I know this can be a little bit, you know, controversial, spending money on a white tee, because it's literally a white tee. But me, because I wear so many basic pieces, I think it's way better to invest in something like this that I'm going to wear almost every day than into, you know, an item that's very beautiful, but I don't wear that much. So this is a tee by Alexander Wang tee. <laughs> and it has one pocket and it has a slight cropped fit. It's not super cropped, but it's also not long, which is perfect for me because I, as you can see, always suck in uh, my tees and my blouses into high-waisted jeans. And this is perfectly talkable, if that's even a word. I washed it already many times and it still looks great. So I'm super happy with it. I did get it in the sale actually, so I think I paid around 100 dollars, 100 euros. For this it. is probably the most simple outfit ever, but I just quickly wanted to show you how nice just a white tee with a pair of jeans and heels look so this white tee is from two by alexander wang and i paired it together with these mom jeans from um brandy melville they're super high-waisted and they are a little bit more relaxed 
Then I also added my Gucci belt to sanction my waist a little bit more and um, my heels from Alexander Wang because they are just literally the most comfortable heels that I own. And with the white tee, I also decided to go for the black tee because I also wear so much black. I think a black tee is an essential piece as well. Again, this one is from the same material as the other one. It's also from T by Alexander Wang. Here I paired this very casual blazer from H&M together with this tee by Alexander Wang. Uh, then I added my Gucci belt. My jeans are from Randy Melville and they're super high-waisted mom jeans. Then I got these really cool shoes from I think DSW and they look, they were super cheap. I think they were like $35 or something or even cheaper. Um, but look at the heel. How cool is this marble effect heel? So perfect for my marble aesthetic. And then last but not least, I also added my um, Gucci Nymphaea bag. So this is kind of the perfect business casual outfit in my opinion. So another staple piece in my wardrobe next to a white tee is the leather jacket. This uh, leather jacket is from Zara. It's faux leather. And what I love about it is that you can actually remove this part of the leather jacket. It has a zipper that actually works. So you can wear it a little bit longer or what I usually do, cropped. Uh, so my leather jacket is from Zara. My white tee is this tee by Alexander Wang, but any other white tee would do as well. My jeans are from Brandy Melville, um, and then my belt is from Gucci. My bag is probably my favorite designer bag ever. I thought about it a lot, what bag would be my favorite bag, but I think this is my favorite bag. Um, this is the Alexander Wang Mini Rocky, and it matches my Alexander Wang Nadia sandals perfectly. So, this is a leather jacket that I got for this spring, and um, it's still available, I'm pretty sure about that. And it's this uh, off-white or cream leather jacket, again from Zara. It's faux leather, and it has silver hardware. And this one is a little bit, like it's not cropped, it's a little bit longer and it's a little bit more kind of oversized. So this is how I like to wear this cream leather jacket from Zara. I think it's so appropriate for spring because it's very light. So um, yeah, as I said, the leather jacket is from Zara. Then my blouse is from Weekday. Uh, I paired it with my favorite pair of mom jeans from Monkey. Um, and also my bag is from Alexander Wang. This is uh, the mini Rogue. And then also um, these sandals from Alexander Wang. I think they are the... <laughs> I completely forgot their name. But I'll link them down below as well. I also have a whole video on both of these items from Alexander Wang. For spring basic number three, I'm going to talk about blouses. With this, I have a cheaper alternative and a more expensive one. The cheaper alternative I'm wearing right now, and it's from Weekday. And then this is the more expensive alternative, again from T by Alexander Wang. I got it for $100 on sale because it was originally $300, so I think that's a really good deal. This one is a little bit more structured, so if that's not your thing, then you can opt for this Weekday blouse. But I like to have both options because I wear white blouses that often. So now I'm wearing the Alexander Wang uh, or T by Alexander Wang white blouse and not with my monkey jeans but with these Brandy Melville jeans. And even though it's a very similar outfit, because this is a more structured blouse and these jeans are more high-waisted, I do feel like it has a different silhouette. And then I also added my uh, new look sandals and my Gucci Dionysus bag. So, speaking of jeans, um, I'm going to talk about two jeans. One of them I'm wearing right now. This is the Monkey Kimomo pair. This pair of mom jeans is the perfect mom jeans pair I've ever found. They are super flattering, especially if you are more pure shaped like me. I have quite heavy ties um, and heavy legs. It's kind of my, I guess, insecurity, you could say but you know, I'm totally okay with the fact that I'm not perfect. Then I also have this pair, and this pair is from Brandy Melville. This pair is a little bit more loose around my legs, which I like less. However, this pair is also more high-waisted, which I like more. So the white blouse that I'm wearing is from Weekday. Then my jeans are from Monkey, and they are these very flattering mom jeans. And then I also pair them with a pair of mules from Alexander Wang because these ones are just so comfortable and you can just literally slip in and slip out of them. And then I thought 
the brown would look very nice with grey so I added my uh, Alexander Wang bag this is the mini rogue or the small rogue I think I think it's a small rogue so yeah this is just a super super easy outfit for spring but definitely one of my favorites and the last but not least item that I'm going to talk about is this bag from Alexander Wang this was the very first designer bag I've ever got. It's super durable because this one is already, I think, two years old. Now, I do have to say I care for my bags very well, but, you know, I still wear them a lot too and it looks very good. So, I would definitely say like a light pink accessory, especially with gold or rose gold hardware, is so beautiful for spring. If you wear like a very simple all white outfit or like I'm wearing right now, white blouse and blue denim, a bag like this makes it just a little bit more feminine without being too girly. So guys, that's the end of my spring fashion guide for 2018 and I hope you enjoyed it. I love filming these videos. Also, if I did inspire you to do some shopping, um, go to the description box down below, open it, and then you'll find a link to my blog post. That blog post is actually a shopping checklist. So you can open the blog post on your phone and then you can check off all the items that you shopped. And that way you're not going to spend more money than you actually need on items that you're not looking for for your spring wardrobe. Also, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item was of all the items that I showed or favorite outfit combination because I would love to know what your, you know, favorite outfit of mine is. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. So yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you're all having a very good day and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye guys!